Am I the best cat advice resource for you? I'll let you decide. Hey friends, it's Jess and Jericho from Catacles.com. I'd like to share my story of how I got into cat care and nutrition from my personal journey through my professional journey so that you can decide if I'm the right person for you. Cats came into my life around 1993 when I was about four years old. My family's had 12 cats since then and I have Jericho. Warning, I'm about to show you really cute cat pics. Top left corner is my first cat ever, Whiskers. We adopted her sister, Chelsea, shortly after. She's in the next photo. Our first Siamese cat was Lucky, and our next three Siamese cats cuddling together are Milo, Coco, and Silky. Milo and Coco were half-brothers, and they always cuddled like that. They also loved sleeping in bed with me. Second row left is Milo and Silky cuddling with our orange tabby, Shitty Kitty. I wanted to name him Walter. The four cats on the table are Milo, Coco, Shitty, and our tuxedo, Griffin. Griffin loves to sleep with me, and there's Milo stealing my warmth. And again, Milo and Griffin laying on me with our baby boy, Hemi, next to us. And there's Hemi grooming Gracie, our polydactyl cat, with Griffin all cuddled all cute. Next is Griffin and Ash playing with me and the wand toy. And our next fluffers is Charlie. On the bottom row, Milo, Hemi, and Griffin are smushed together in one bed. Next is my gorgeous guy, Jericho. Griffin laying on my chest again, and Jericho laying on me. Give me a polydactyl thumbs up if you just can't resist cat pics. That's 12 cats that I've had in my personal life. I don't count Charlie Cat because unfortunately I haven't met him yet, haven't been able to visit my parents because of the pandemic. My passion for nutrition stems from my personal cat's health issues. Whiskers lived to about 16. She died from a heart stroke. Chelsea had diabetes and she died around the age of 10. Lucky had cancer and the vet told us that we had no option but to put her down. This was around the age of seven or eight. Coco died suddenly due to dehydration. He was only 10. Silky lived to about 20 and Milo lived to about 17, but it wasn't old age that caught them in the end. It was kidney disease. Shitty Kitty had a urinary blockage, which is a life-threatening situation, but it was actually a simple surgery that went wrong that killed him. Our most recent cat that passed away was Hemi, and he was only three and a half, and it was kidney failure that ultimately took him. Griffin, Gracie, Ash, and Charlie are still living with my parents, and I have Jericho here with me in my apartment. My professional experience with cats didn't start until about 2017. I was working in marketing and advertising for about six years, and I was absolutely miserable. So after I quit my last job, I decided that I was going to pursue my dreams pursue my passion and work with animals. I started cat sitting in 2017 and I absolutely loved it. Over the three years, I've worked with over 400 cats, all ages, breeds, and health conditions. I've administered liquid meds, pills, insulin, fluids. I've come across all types of cat food, cat litter, cat products, cat furniture, anything that you can think of in every type of living space that you can think of from tiny shoebox apartment to three-story house, from one cat households up to 10 cat households. I've seen it all. So now, as you know, I've had many cats my whole life, but working with cats professionally taught me so much more. I mean, working with over 400 cats, I'm bound to learn a thing or two, right? I started to realize that it wasn't only my personal cats that had all of these serious health issues. So my personal cats, they had health issues, they all ate kibble. The cats that I worked with professionally, the ones that I medicated, they all ate kibble. All of the ones with obesity and serious health related issues, they all ate kibble. According to the Association for Pet Obesity Prevention, more than half the cats in the US are overweight and 82% of cat parents feed kibble. This is not a coincidence. So I started studying cat food in 2017, cat food, AFCO pet food label rules. And then later in 2017, I adopted Jericho. After he was adjusted to his new environment, I started transitioning him to better and better quality food, ultimately all the way through to a 100% complete and balanced raw cat food. In the end of 2019, I launched my website, catacles.com, so that I could help cat parents like you outside my local area want to share my experience and my knowledge about cat food and cat products because our cats deserve the best. In 2020, when Hemi was diagnosed with kidney failure, 
that's when I decided, all right, that's it. I need to do something about this. We absolutely need to change the way that we feed our cats. So I enrolled in a 500 hour clinical pet nutritionist program so that I can become certified in feline and canine nutrition and overall clinical pet nutrition. I'm on a mission to eliminate these nasty stats. No more obesity, no more cancer, no more diabetes or urinary tract disease or kidney issues. I'm here to give you the best possible cat advice on nutrition and happiness because, again, that's what our cats deserve. I'll teach you all about cat food label rules, how to transition cat food properly, and how to safely feed a proper raw diet. Additionally, I'll have product reviews and step-by-step -step tutorials on how to get your cats to play. Let me know about your cats in the comments below. What's your experience with cat food? Do your cats love to play? Tell me about your cats. Then consider subscribing if you've decided that I'm the best cat advice resource for you. Thanks for watching.